Okay. So thanks to everybody who's been sort of trying to help in this issue. Here's pretty much what happens whenever I go to do the configuration. Okay, so you can see there I have display one and I've got display two. So display one shows full Windows touch support. Display two shows no pen or touch input is available for this display. Okay, don't know why. But if we go up to number one, when we go to setup, it'll bring up these two windows. Tap the screen with a single finger to identify it as a touch screen. Okay, to close the tool, press escape. So that's not closed. So we're going to assume that that's worked. We now go to this one and go set up. Okay, and we press enter to move it to the other screen. It's over there. But the same thing still applies. Okay, so we know that that hasn't worked. We do know that this screen is being touch responsive and it does says no pen or touch input is available for this display. And I think there's some sort of a clash between the drivers which is preventing um, the two of them to work together. But anyway, so the other thing everybody's been saying about is oh, it's about doing calibration. So if I go there to choose the one that does work, I'm going to calibrate. Do you want it to change devices? Change you want the allow the app to make changes to your device? Yes. Sorry, I've taken my glasses off. To provide calibration samples, tap the crosshair each time that it appears on the screen. So you can see that it's up on the top left hand corner of the screen at the minute. But there's not one thing I can do to make that operate. Not one thing at all. I just won't do it. Now, we can't sort of go to the other one. Oh, I can't go to the other one to calibrate it because the calibrate option isn't, isn't available for a screen it doesn't think has a touch input. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect screen one, that's the other hand, and I'm going to take the USB out of that as well. So now I would want to get this screen. So this now thinks that there's only one screen available. So now that we've brought the system just down to one option, we know that touchscreen is working because I've just used it. But again, doesn't matter how firmly, it doesn't matter whereabouts in that corner I press, it just is not working. So this is Windows 11 uh, on its most up-to-date form that just will not allow a hands-free HT161 HNB screen work in the calibration tool. So it's very, very strange. I don't know if anybody can help with this.